Hello back everyone. Throughout this session, we're gonna discuss about Switch in JavaScript. So Switch, first of all, it's like a replacement for if else. Whenever you are feeling comfortable with it, you can use if else, which we discussed in our last session, or you can use Switch. So to apply Switch, first of all, I need a variable. Let's have an X and that one could be just three. And to define switch, we will say switch on that variable x, okay? And to start working with that, it's basically about some cases. So let's start by first case, I will say in case of x equal 1, just say console.log, maybe just 1 or something like that, it's up to you. So it's better I will take, you know, that case as a copy and paste for the sake of the time. So in case of two means, you know, in case that x equal two, please, you know, execute for me that statement. What else? You're going to say in case of x equal three, just execute for me that statement. And you got to, you know, you're going to keep working like that case four, case five, case six, etc till you reach that you fulfill all your user requirement. After all, you're gonna say default. Default means else, okay? So default, if all that cases didn't work, please, you know, go and execute what's inside the default. So here is that console.log, just say uh, none, or just like anything, okay? All right. So right now, look at that. If you will start to analyze your program, here is it, x equal three. So first of all, is three equal to one? No. Is three equal to two? No. Is three equal to three? Yes. So he will execute that one. He will show on that console screen three. If you come here, you will find three, but hey why he execute default because he continue to execute all other statement after case three you didn't put the special keyword which it will tell him after you execute all the statement related to case three please stop executing anything else let me show you something before i tell you about that keyword here is that in case for for example okay i will say case for just print four look at that he print what he print three and four and none here is it let me have here some space he print three four and none that means you have after each case you have to tell him hey after executing that case please you know go and stop executing all other. So the keyword for that is basically break. You have to tell him break after each case to tell the JavaScript stop executing that other cases. Only that case, here is it. I have to put it after each one. And by the way, by default, default will be the last one. So no need to tell him break because it's basically the last one nothing else it will be execute after default so if you come again here is that you will find he only showed to you number three that means he come to that case that means he check about that case three and he execute that statement and after that he just break he just you know close executing other cases so you can you know work with switch or if else it's up to you both of them are doing the same from my perspective but you know there are some cases you need to use switch anyway thank you for watching and keep coding and see you in next